Current vibe. That dream was planted in your heart for a reason. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Raquel. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But today, you guys can already see by the title of this video what's going to be happening, okay? I will be opening up to you guys a little bit more because I feel like as a YouTuber or a content creator that's like fully starting out, you know, I'm still new to this, I feel like... I want my audience to be able to relate to me and my viewers and I want you guys to just get to know me a little bit better and I figured why not come out with this video which is 30 facts about me that you guys don't know or you may know. If you know me and you're watching this video some of this stuff you may know some of it you may not and before we get into this video if you guys see that I may sound a little bit funny or my face just may be looking a little bit raw I am feeling a little bit under the weather yesterday your girl was dealing with some battles okay some health battles I had like four nosebleeds and I was just not feeling well I'm still kind of not feeling well which is why I have my water bottle next to me and some tissue because my nose is runny a little bit but Regardless, we're going to get this video out for y'all, okay? We're going we to make it do what it do, period. So let's get started. And I wrote all of these down. <coughs> I wrote all of these down so that I can go through all of them and not miss any of them. And if you guys enjoy this video, let me know if you want me to do a part two, okay? But fact number one is my birthday is June 26. I was born June 26, 1994. My birthday is coming up. I am a big cancer, period. Big cancer energy over here. Let me know if you're a cancer as well. Um, fact number two is that I'm 28 years old. And obviously, if you did the math on my birthday, 1994, I'm 28. My birthday is coming up. So this year, I will be turning 29. It's my last year in my 20s, y'all. So has to be a big one which is why I'm so big this year on like focusing and chasing my goals and dreams because it is my last year my 20s so I gotta you know do it big I gotta do this big okay um next one is I don't like oysters that's fact number three I have tried them before it's not really my thing like I don't know people be tearing them down up and up it's not something I never been able to get into it i've tried them before people have like told me to eat them different ways and i just uh, can't get into it i don't know fact number four is that i was born in the dominican republic i was not born in the u.s um whenever i tell people that they're like oh my god i can't believe that you were born in the U.S." yeah exotic mommy over here foreign not nah. <laughs> but i was born in the dominican republic and then i came to the u.s um when i was younger um fact number five i've lived in three different states so i've lived in new jersey i've lived in new york and then I've, i'm now currently living in georgia so i've lived in three different states i feel like my favorite one so far has probably been new york like the city because i lived in new york city and then i lived in upstate but my favorite has been new york city for sure um, fact number six, your girl is bilingual. So, you know, I be speaking that English, I be speaking that Spanish, you know. Yeah, I can speak, read, and write. So, yeah, bilingual over here. Um, fact number seven, I have not been to DR in 15 years. So, although I was born in the Dominican Republic, and although I have family over there, and my mom travels all the time, and you know my grandma travels and everything i haven't been in 15 years last time i went was for my oldest sister's um wedding so and i was about like eight or ten for that so it's been a minute um fact number eight i ran track in high school so yeah in high school i ran track i was into sports i tried a lot of sports i tried volleyball um basketball and track the only thing was that i feel like I started playing sports at an older age compared to everybody else, but I feel like if I would have started from like a little, little baby or a little girl, I would have been pretty nice because I'm naturally a competitive person. So 
Let me know down below in the comments if you played any sports throughout high school, college, all of that. Um, fact number nine, I attended SUNY Brockport um, and I did graduate with my bachelor's in health science. So yeah, I do have a bachelor's degree and it's crazy because I haven't really done anything within my field in years. So I don't know, it's kind of, I don't want to say it was a waste of money because the bachelor's did get me other jobs that required a degree, but it was nothing within my major. So yeah. And let me know if you attended any SUNY school. Fact number 10, my dream career job was to become a dentist. When I tell you, I was obsessed, obsessed with that like field. I was very much obsessed. Like that was my dream job. I worked in a dental office for about like five years. Um, so yeah, I worked there for a while. I actually ended up doing some like programs at NYU for like pre-dental students. Um, I was part of the pre-dental student association at UB. It was just like a lot. It was definitely a um, very like, I don't know, monumental time in my life. Like I was just like very, very focused on that goal. I feel like the only thing that got in the way of that were those science classes. Like, y'all, I don't know how y'all do it. Like, yeah, doctors and like dentists and like all of that nurses, like those classes be hard. Okay, they be really, really hard. So uh, I wasn't, I don't know, like I was really struggling with putting in the work and dedication and focus that it required and discipline that it required to like actually finish that career. So yeah, that was my dream job. Fact number 11, I'm very artistic and crafty. Um, I don't like to toot my own horn, but like I could draw. Um, I'm just very crafty. Like I can see stuff and pretty much just like do it. Um, I'm very like creative, which is why this is what I really, really want to do is be a creator because that's just like something that I'm naturally good at. Fact number 12, I'm my mom's second child. So yeah, I'm the second born. Uh, fact number 13, my favorite, 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 favorite all time food is, drum roll please, seafood. Your girl loves seafood. Like, when I tell you, if me and you ain't on good terms and you're trying to get on my good side, baby, give me some seafood. Juicy crab, snow crab, at minimum two clusters, minimum two extra extra corn which means that i have to have at least four pieces of corn the potatoes the shrimp get it all get it all for me okay yeah crab legs juicy crab any type of seafood boil is my go-to favorite 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 all-time food it doesn't matter like what mood i'm in i'm down for some crabs okay let me know down below in the comments if you um are a seafood lover because that's me over here um fact number 14 is that my favorite all-time favorite fruit is mangoes i love 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 mangoes it's my favorite like i could tear some mangoes down okay it's embarrassing like i just love them um and i think it's just because where i grew up where i was born i should say in the yard you have mango trees like in your backyard and if you don't have them your auntie got them so it's like mangoes is one of those fruits that you're just eating on a regular um, fact number 15 and please don't come for me in the comments like leave me alone not too much um, my favorite movie is Norbit y'all I discovered that movie probably like six years ago and when I tell you that I think that's like the funniest movie of all time when I discovered that movie this is like psycho energy or psycho activity I watched it like on replay like once it would stop I would replay it over and over again probably like five times yeah I know you're judging me and that's okay but it was just so funny to me and it's like the more I watched it the funnier it got I don't know 
am I bugging? Let me know if I'm bugging. Fact number 16 is that I taught for four years. So I was a teacher for four years and an actual teacher. Like, had to like have report card conferences with parents, like teacher, teacher, okay? Um, but yeah, I taught for four years. I taught two years in New York and then two years here in Atlanta. This was my last year teaching. But yeah, I taught elementary school and it was definitely like a rewarding job, but it was very challenging for sure which is why i left and i just feel like educators don't get valued enough and we just don't like i don't know we don't get the credit that we deserve so if you're a teacher and you're watching this vlog shout out to you shout out to you okay okay so <clears throat> On to fact number 17. Um, I've lived in Georgia for two years. I think I already mentioned that, but I've lived in Georgia for two years now. It's officially gonna actually be two years in June. June 9th, I think, or June 7th was when we moved here. So yeah, two years in ATL. ATL. But yeah. Um the next one, fact number 18, is that I have a dog. Her name is Susie. You guys have probably seen her in vlogs and will continue to see her. That's my girl, okay? Even though we have like a little love-hate relationship and we be, you know, having our little disagreements here and there, love Susie. Fact number 19, I have five siblings, four sisters and one brother. Um, one of my sisters is my dad's daughter, but altogether I have five siblings so yeah big family fact number 20 both of my parents are Dominican I know a lot of people think that I'm like mixed and I mean I guess I could kind of see it but I don't know because once I start talking they'll be like oh nah girl you got the accent you got that Spanish accent okay Puerto Rican feeling like a Puerto Rican but yeah they'll be like you know once I start talking they'll hear the accent or once they hear my last name they'll be like oh nah short and Spanish but um yeah I am fully fully Dominican both my parents were born in DR I was born in DR they're Dominican yeah so fact number 21 is that I didn't get my ears pierced until I was in high school and I know you guys are probably like girl what like what the what yeah my mom was not with it I don't know why she just was like you don't need that why are you trying to do stuff to your body you don't need that and that and i'm like ma but i want it and she's like nope and actually my aunt took me and my older sister to get our ears pierced like randomly she's like let's go yeah getting your ears pierced like i don't get why i don't have it and i was like we out we out let's go what's up let's go get them done and that's exactly what we did fact number 22 um this kind of piggybacks off of the earring stuff i grew up in a very 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 strict household and when I tell you it's like a very strict household very strict like I wasn't allowed to stay the night over people's houses couldn't get no piercings couldn't get nothing when I tell you nothing I barely was able to play sports like I had to like beg and plead okay so yeah I just grew up in a very strict household like I wasn't really allowed to do much of anything like I wasn't allowed to listen to certain stuff, like type of music, watch certain movies. Like when I tell y'all very strict, very strict. I hope you get what I'm trying to tell But yeah, that was fact number 23. That was fact number 22. We're on to fact number 23. So for 23, this one, and I don't know if it's because I'm like, the second child or whatever they always said there's like one problem child i was i guess the problem child like when i tell y'all i was getting whoopings upon whooping um, whoopings upon whooping like i was getting whooped every other day and when i look back i'm like dang i wasn't even that bad like i wasn't doing nothing i was just trying to be a kid you know fact number 24 is that i used to get into a lot of fights like it was bad and I think it was because, I don't know, I just, I was going through a lot and like, it's stuff that I will talk about in another vlog, um, you know, once I feel like I'm ready to like share that stuff with y'all. But like, I just had a lot of anger built inside of me, like, and I couldn't really let it out at home. I couldn't.
couldn't let it out anywhere. I wasn't doing any sports like that. So it's like, I don't know. I was fighting a lot. Like in middle school, I literally remember till this day, I lived in the Bronx. I was with my two younger siblings and they were young, like probably like seven, six, seven. And I literally told them, stand right here. It was after school during the semester. So I was like, stand right here while I go fight. And they were like, watched me fight. And they, they went home to my mom and it was like a whole thing. To this day, we still talk about that. But I just, I don't know. Like, I was always getting into fights. And I'm, I'm the type of person, like, I don't fight anymore. But like back then, I was the type of person where it's like, you're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. I don't care what the outcome is as long as I get a hit. That's it. As long as I, as long as I get a couple hits, that's it. It don't matter. I'm done. But yeah, I was definitely um, a fighter. I'm kind of like embarrassed to say that now, but it is what it is. I feel like that's all things that like help you grow as an individual. Um, so now fact number 25. Um, so this one, please don't come for me in the comments, but fact number 25 is that I've always, 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 always wanted a BBL. Like when I tell you I have always wanted a BBL, I always wanted a big butt, always. And like some people will probably be like, she's capping, she's lying, but like my family can tell you. Like for high school, when I graduated, I asked, like I was joking, but not really. I asked my parents if they can gift me a BBL, like as a graduation gift. And they looked at me like I was stupid. Then at one point I asked everyone in the family if they can like chip in for me to get a BBL. I'm like, well, I could do a fundraiser. Like I go, I'll pay for it together, you know, no. Like I've always wanted one and I think it's because this is kind of sick, but not really. In the Dominican and Spanish culture, like everyone has a big butt. Like if you don't, it's kind of like, huh? You know, like most Spanish women, females, they're known for having like curvy bodies. Hold on, y'all. <coughs> okay. Um, but yeah, they're known for having like curvy bodies and just giving body yaddy and that's what I wanted and a lot of my cousins and aunts They've gone to DR to get their body done. So it's like if that's all that I'm seeing I want that too, you know, and guess what? I still want it and that's why I'm gonna go get it her I'm gonna go get it. But yeah, I've always wanted one fact number 26 um, I lost my virginity in college. So I'm not judging anybody who lost it before then, but I waited until college to lose my virginity. Like I wasn't really pressed to like be doing all of that. And it's crazy because a lot of the guys that I dated, they actually cheated on me and we broke up because of that, because they wanted to like, you know, get real nasty and I wasn't with it. I was like, no, I'm scared. I'm scared. I ain't trying to do all that. I don't want to be pregnant. I want to go to college. Like I want to get out the house. I want to be gone. But yeah, I didn't lose my virginity until college. All right, fact number 28. Um, I love, love, love fruity stuff. And this may sound crazy, but like as far as food, like I love fruity stuff. Like I like fruit bowls, I like smoothies. Ice cream has to be a fruity flavor. Any dessert has to be fruity. There's people that are like into chocolate stuff and like sweet stuff, but I'm more of like a fruity person. Um, even with like body lotions, shower gels, perfumes, like I like fruity, sweet scents. Fact number 29, I want to have one kid, contrary to like what people think, like I am scared of having kids, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but I want at least one. I want just one actually, not at least, I want one. I want one kid um, and in my middle to late 30s and if that doesn't happen then I'll just adopt. But I definitely want at least just one. Fact number 29 is that I am an introvert. A lot of people that like know me, like know me, know me, or like she's an extrovert, like she's out there, she doesn't mind talking to people, but I'm actually not like that. Like when people first meet me, they're like, dang, you got RBF, like you look like you don't want to talk to nobody. But it's really because I'm high key, low key shy. Like I don't. I don't know, I have a hard time like opening up to people and it's probably why I only have like three friends, maybe four. But I don't really have a lot of like friend friends that I can actually say that's my friend. Yeah, no, I have like, you know, acquaintances and people that I like 
you know, chill and do stuff with, but actual like friends, like that's not, I ain't got much of them. So yeah, that's because I am an introvert. Um, and then the last fact, which is fact number 30, and this one's weird, so please don't judge me. I get very like obsessive with things and this may sound crazy but it's like like if I try something new that I love I become obsessed obsessed to the point where it's like that's all I'm doing I don't want to do nothing else I don't want to try nothing else until that obsession is like over with so like for example juicy seafood like my obsession with that started maybe like six years ago, seven years ago. And when I tell you, I was eating crabs like every week. It had to be every single week, every week. Either I bought them, I made them. Another example would be with like working out. When I was working out before, this was before I had like the BBL plan and all of this to get it done. Um, I was hard in the gym. And when I tell you hard, I was buying like all new gym clothes, all new gym stuff, like I was signing up for boxing classes, everything. Like I was working out probably three times a day. Like I get very like focused and fixated on like one thing, but I feel like it could be a good thing or a negative thing. It just depends on what, what that thing is and how you perceive it. Because I feel like if it's, let's say like you have a goal, if you have that mindset and that drive and you're like focused, you have that tunnel vision. I feel like that's how a lot of people become successful. But I tend to have the, these obsessions with like food and stuff. Yeah. Like food, just different things, lotions, like body stuff. <clears throat> so yeah, that's fact number 30, but that's pretty much everything for this video. Let me know down below in the comments how you guys like this video, if you enjoyed it, if you want to see more of these videos, because I could definitely do a part two for y'all i have listen i got a lot to talk about a lot to open up about and yeah i still have a lot to learn about me so let me know if that's something that you guys want but thank you so so much for watching thank you for rocking with me i promise y'all that i'm gonna be posting every single day and i have been committing to that and sticking to that so make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any other uploads that are going to be coming your way but again thank you for watching and i love you guys so much